this fresh fallen powder here, fresh overnight. Tastes like Windsor. Hell yeah! Woo! I wish this was a roll up the rim, I might make my money back. Hey, Dick Fast back here again, internet's most hated self-proclaimed plowed legend. Today, I'm gonna walk you through plowing a parking lot in case you needed your hand held, okay? So let's get into it. I used to be in a gang. Backdrag boys. We uh, we sung pop songs. It was, it was called the Backdrag Boys. Ever since I met my wife on ChristianMingle.com, I've been plowing this church for free. Gets right down to the breakfast meats and the bologna sandwiches. These have the mustard to smooth your appetite over. You see, I'm swinging her up the side there. Guess what? I don't play around with this. I'm gonna slam this right into the rhubarb, okay, boys? Up into the trees there, boys, because we're not playing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Woo! Great check into friggin' oncoming traffic there. Tall can. This is good for two coats. Each coat's good for two runs. This particular property, they got some units down at the far end there. They told me. We need those plowed in tighter than a sphincter. Last guy wasn't doing it tight enough. The forklift couldn't get in there. You can't do that. And we got no use for you, buddy, like the second H in Shepherd's Pie. But anyways, this day I got a little tight in there, buddy. Check it out. Jesus, buddy. He's going to have to back up because I told you before, this ram don't freaking stop for nothing. What happened was I was just out plowing some snow and I got a little bored, so... Decided to put the rig to the test and have a little fun. I got hundreds of angry comments. People really went insane over it. People were really pissed off about it. Not exactly the direction I had planned for the channel, but every time I try to do something nice, this is how it turns out. Yeah. We hit him right in the feeling. I think we left more butts hurt than a paddle factory. Make sure your harsh end doesn't slam into the face of one of those other vehicles because nobody likes to slam their face into an harsh end. I opened up enough room I could swing that truck because now I got a brick wall on my back. I can't back up dead into a brick wall. And if you can, comment below. Let me know how you do that because I would love to know. What the hell are you doing? Just looking for damage on the Hemi plow truck. Nothing feels better than that blade hit the ground. It's just like the gentle caress of a woman. Just like the cold hands of Jesus rubbing you right in the warmest spot you got. Oh, it's like a therapeutic massage on my frontal brain lobes. There he is. Hard at it. Even my neighbor Gary was awfully upset about it. He must be getting to the age where this really grinded his gears because I was just out on the road up and down for a little ride the other day and he came up to me and really tore a strip right off me. What are you gonna do, huh? Put it on tape? If there wasn't any witnesses, you know what I'd do to you? I'd pull Trump on What's you. It? I'm your huckleberry, buddy. I'm your huckleberry, you short little fucking punk. Look I'll at the watching law. you. You're lucky today, Look at buddy. The law. You're afraid, aren't you? You're a pussy. That's why. Think you're a tough guy, right? And you don't want to f with a guy like me that lives in this fing town. Puts up with your f all the time, right? Puts up with your sh all the time like you own this f like you own the road. See this? This means you're a f dead man walking. You come onto my fing land, okay? You're a f dead man. Call this one, go Dinkler Sprinkler. Hold it right there. of salt man in the north harry crevice he said your screenshot made it look like there was an engine fire i'm disappointed 
Well, guess what, Harry? Me and this rig, we're both flamer retarded. This is one of them snowplow conundrums. You ain't got your trigger number. You ain't got your five centimeters to trigger you to fucking show up and do your job. But yet, she's slicker out here than goose shit on a dock. There's nowhere to leave that snow out by the road, folks, so don't do it. We're not trying to block the driver's view. Obstruction of visual justice. You gotta keep the rig clean, boys. She gets covered in salt. She turns into a ball of shit there, boys. It's like one of these freaking Bieber bits or whatever they are. Jimmy Bieber. Steam room in here, eh, bud? <laughs> Holy shit, she's just like the, the hot springs up north now, everybody, eh? Oh, yeah. Golly, a few cold ones in here, boys. She's just like the caveman's hut. Now that we got the rinse down, we need to get her prepped for the next job. You know how I do that. Cooking spray. Straight on the blade, boys. The reason I use the cooking spray is sometimes once I get it going, I warm the blade up. I can smell pancakes from the cab of the truck. Now you could also use french fry oil if you prefer the smell of french fries. I prefer sweet breakfast snacks. That's why I go with the scent of pancakes on my blade. This displaces water better than the leading rust protector on the market. Experience has taught me everything. And this is beneficial in multiple ways. The snow slides right off the unit here. Get that bottom edge, just a little extra. In case you hit any potholes, that little extra pop, pop you right out of it. I don't even call them potholes, I call them pop holes because of this technique. A firmly lubricated unit for penetrating every time I want to bang a drifter. Phil McCracken, he said, that's a good way to bend an A-frame. Great job, you're a true professional. Well, thank you, Phil. I think we bent the mainframe with that video. The minor adjustments I realized our conveyor's a little loose there. Looser than a goose's caboose. How loose is a goose's caboose, Ian? Pretty loose. Pretty goddamn loose. Oh yeah. Look at the size of these snow banks. That's taller than the truck. The truck's gotta be about nine feet off the ground. No word of a lie, boys. That's the sixth accident I've seen today. They're dropping like flies out here. Bye, George. All right, ladies, got ourselves a decent pile of snow here to move. I'm gonna push her back about 50 feet back here in this sticks and stems. I cleared a nice path here earlier in the season. Push this whole big side down here, across and into that pile. And now I'm gonna move that pile back. Just imagine. Let's do it. I'm gonna give this the full Tony Hawk 1080, baby. Three full rotations with the salt. Let's do a little brake check here. Oh yeah. Oh, she slides about a hundred yards when you're doing 50 kilometers an hour. You know what I like? Nice fit. That's why when I was young, I wore the Husky jeans. You know what I mean? Not fat, I'm Husky, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah, tidy whitey, just like your grandma's undies there, buddy. I just keep driving that into the back corner till she's full. She's full like you after Thanksgiving or even that great dinner you have around Christmas. Head back there tonight, clean her up, fill up the sand bins, get her done. Empty. Empty. Like a caveman's gullet. If I'm out on the job, decide I need to bang a drifter, I want my unit lubricated properly for a slick penetration. Seems like a lot of these guys are more sensitive than the pinpoint steering in this road hugger right here. Thought these were some badass plow boys. By the way, happened to be a snowplow. Yes, that was the accident that we witnessed. And you're taking a look here at some of the 
video right now. We actually got to the scene as uh, the police were on scene as well as the, the snow plow. Talked to the driver. He is okay. This is what he had to say. I'm a little scared half to death. Freak out. And I've been having fun just slamming these on every rig you can imagine. Some of my favorite spots have been my neighbor's car, Gary's. Get the fuck off the property right now. There's a lot of bad drivers out there. And even worse, there's a lot of these little sissy boys that are passing off blame on everybody they can. So you don't want to leave yourself exposed to catch that blame, boys. They're asking me if I broke any parts. I told them no. I can tell by the seat of my pants any slight variation in performance or handling. <laughs> Make sure you give us a comment, like the video, and subscribe for more. Till next time.